Okay, we are ready, ready, ready. <clears throat> First thing we gotta do is take the B down, and then, oh, I'll just bring this up. Like That's so very clever. That's so very clever. So we'll, well, we'll, we'll do boxes, and then I'll go over all the new stuff. Since it's so late, um, I'm probably not going to do any stories or anything tonight, but we'll do all your questions. And got lots of up, some updates, and of course our biggest thing is Bella's update. I always like to do little boxes last. Oh, this is from Tom, and this one is from Jack Cat. Oh, Jack Cat! So we can open these two are Jack Cats, and then this is a heavy one from Alicia F in Michigan, Cadillac, Michigan. So we'll put that one maybe right there. Here we go. So these two, this is the one I started to open last night and realized it was from Jack Cat and shoved everything back in there. So um, it says, I, I, uh, for FFRC cats from Jack Cat, and <clears throat> this has some good stuff in it. I mean, this is that baby cat, baby food. You know, I never ever knew until this year that there was such a thing. Royal Cannon puts it out, and um, it's the best stuff. It's the best stuff. This stuff the baby kitties can eat. Oh, boy, you got us all restocked. restocked. Jack Cat, this is also the baby or kitty um, fancy feast, too. So two cases of kitten fancy feast, and I'm always worried that shelf's going to give way. And two... Of the, two, huh? <laughs> and two. These are um, three and a half pounds. Thank you, Jack Cat. And I, I hide those. Where you Where you um, I've been putting them in that little cupboard. But don't tell anybody I said that. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't want it mixed in with the regular kitten dry food. I use that. Um, that cover is kind of small too, Kurt. If there's not enough room, we can use um, thumpers room. But don't tell anybody I said that. Thumpers? Thumpers, yeah. Um, it's it's great. It, that food is good. And it's amazing how we can get um, the kitties who are a little bit down or little and they start eating it. I, did, I think a lot of you guys saw that little orange kitten that Jody's helping with. She's, she's fostering another baby, and she had it wrapped up in a towel like a little taco baby, and it was in here yesterday, and it cried, and it cried, and it cried, and it wanted to eat, and so um, I put, I got some of that out, and we mixed um, a little bit of KMR and a little bit of baby food in it, and that was it. That's what it wanted. We wanted the, the baby stuff. So, he's doing good. I don't know if Jody's named it or not yet. I'm going to bet you we're going to end up having that kitty here sometime. Right, Jody, if Jody's on? Okay, how do I open this? Here we go. Look at the knife. This is the second one from, from Jack Cat. Whoops. My thumb doesn't work very good. Ooh, wow. Oh, and I think, oh, wow. oh, these are those Mylar balls. These are cool. They crinkle. The cats love them. They're big enough not to get sucked up in the in the um, shop vac. They have fun. They carry those around in their little mouths even. Wow. Oh, wow. Good treat. Two of the favorites. It says, for FFRC kitties and cats from Jack Cat. Oh, these are different. These are mix-ups. I've never seen those before. So there's four of those temptations, and there's a whole bunch of the whisper lickings. Um, when I feed the breakfast in the morning, I always put a little bit of temptations and a little bit of whisker lickings in for the oldsters meals on the side. They get served served with royalty. They like it. So we use those. Oh, and some more of these. Uh, every time I go in to buy these, because there's only one place I've told you that I can find them, they're always out. Because I tell everybody who adopts from around here, they love these springs. Those are those springy things like this. 
And so they're always out. So I'm grateful to get those. And we always send every kitty out of here with with a couple of those springs, actually, just to make them feel at home. Thank you, Jack Cat. I appreciate the food and the treats and the toys. Big time. You guys are awesome. I really, really mean it. Alicia F. from Cadillac, Michigan. This box is heavy. A letter. Whoop. A letter. Oh no, wait. It's inside the base. Hey, we're going to save that. We can send meds home with that. Oh. This is cute. These are little note cards. There's kind of like a little ribs on there, with, and each, each one has a little in there. I, lo I like to send notes. I'm really big on thank you notes and things. These are cute. Thank you. Thank you. I like those. Kind of sort of looks like a Asha and a, and a putter on the front. It says FFRC Jackie and Volunteers. Wow. And some good stuff in there. It says Dear Jackie and Volunteers It is such a pleasure to be able to tune in and watch the daily activities of FFRC. I have been watching for about two months now and I am hooked. We're glad. We're glad you're hooked. I don't chat much but watch on a daily basis. Oh, just so you know, the, the her cam name is Dakota. The blessing of the pets was such a wonderful experience. I appreciate letting us webcamers be a part of it. We were thrilled to be able to do that. That was really well received and I, w I was real happy with that myself. I found a couple of small notepads that has a kitty that kind of reminds me of Asha, and I thought you would enjoy them. I am also enclosing a picture of me for the board. Thank you again for all the love and hard work you give to the cats and kitties. Alicia F., and her cam name is Dakota. So, um, speaking of the pictures, I didn't get any from anybody today, so... Here she is. <laughs> Maybe they're sitting there. Nope, they're at a reception. This is our, our Alicia friend, Dakota friend. And this is Megan and Barb. So, what? just as a reminder, um, I'm hoping everybody... Uh, some, one of you webcamers suggested it to get the ball rolling. And I thought it was a cool idea of, because you guys know what we all look like. It's only fair... We know who's who, and it helps me remember who's who if I can put a face to a name. So if you guys that haven't done it, send in pictures, even if you're just a, um, a, a watcher, a lurker, and not a chatter, just send them to us, and you can either send the real picture or send it to my email, and then Kurt's going to size them so that they're all the same. We never let him get done with all his work here. So um, keep sending them. We're, we're just starting. I started working on the pins on the map, and um, I'd love to get some more pictures. So thank you for your picture, too. So this, uh oh, wait a minute. So Alicia sent, oh, well, I think I'll leave the fancy feast in there because they're loose, but it looks like there's all kinds of flavors of the fancy feast. Probably like a dozen of them in there. And the Perfectly Fish, if you guys have not used the Perfectly Fish for your kitties, you should try it because they love it. And there's Whiskas. Oh, I've never seen Whiskas in packets like this. And I'm like this. And there's, there's four of them in this, so there's five. And the Purple Temptations, which is the dairy product. I think I should be a salesperson. I know them. I know the, know the flavors. And look at all these... Oh, there's another packet, another another green one, and two toys. Oh, I'm not, I've never seen these before. This is heart fed up fowls. <laughs> this is a hummingbird. Isn't that cute? And I have to confess, when I did breakfast this morning and started doing the sweeping, I had to toss out probably five or six toys because they are just, there were some falling apart. This is from Kitty Hoots. We've had a few Kitty Hoots. Not this one. This is Fish Sticks. Oh, this is cool. 
It's a treat dispensing catnip or cat toy with catnip. It's got the belly open here where you can stick treats in it. That's cool. We'll try that. I'll keep I'll keep these out. We'll we'll put those out tonight. We like toys. Thank you, Alicia. Appreciate it. Or Dakota, we appreciate the food and the treats and the toys and the note cards. Those are really, really cute. And if you can give me just a minute, I want to write that down. And then we have another box. I always like to save the small boxes for last. This one is from oh, from our Tom, from our friend Tom P from English Town, New Jersey. He's he's been around here for a little while. We hear from Tom every once in a while. Now we gotta gotta save some of this. Here, kitties, you guys like this? There you go, baby. And I never know how to get into these. Press. Oh, I'll just rip it. Maybe. Mm. You think I know how to do these? There we go. Oh, yay for Kellen. And. Just as a reminder, we saved the pop taps for Kellen. She's gonna, she's gotta make her way back to the Chops Hospital. They don't have a date yet. It'll probably be a couple more months. But we start collecting all the pop tabs, and you can take them from pop cans or beer cans, or the top of um, like frisky cans is aluminum. And just be careful. That's how I cut myself once. Um, and I will give these to Kellen. They're coming on Thursday. Here's Tom's two kitties. Ashley and Buddy. But check this one out. Ashley and Buddy. They like the paper like our kitties do. Cute kitties, Tom. Said, hi, Jackie, just to say hi. Hope you like seeing Ashley and Buddy. I don't have any pictures of me with the kids. Maybe next year I can come to see the center live. That would be cool. It is supposed to be an 11-hour trip from New Jersey. Well, Tom, if you come, we'll, we would love it. Keep doing all you do. Best wishes, Tom. Yeah, that's cute. So there looks like one that, uh, looks like Ashley's a tortie, and it looks like maybe Buddy's a gray tiger. Thank you, Tom. I love seeing you guys as cats. I like that a lot. Thank you. And Kellen has come. Karen, Karen and the girls are coming Thursday, so I'll make sure that Kellen gets her, her tab. Um, so, I've got uh, a few, up, just a few updates. Oh, yeah, we got one more box. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, how exciting. Okay, here, here. This box is a special box because it belongs to the daughter of one of our volunteers, Judy S., who's an awesome volunteer. She waited here for me to get back from my parents' day, parents today, um, or actually waited till I got back from um, Dr. Pettigrew's office to help me get Gromanique ready for her adoption tomorrow. So this is from her daughter, uh, Shell. So they they had a nice visit on Monday, and Shell sent all of this with Judy. Oh, and even some coupons. Look at that. That's cool. Yep, we we do use coupons. Oh, oh, Octavia, I'm going to be watching you. So, daughter of Judy S. And and her cam name is Kit Cat 45. I saw I saw you on the other day, Shell. Um, oh. And I was glad that you were joining us. I I kind of gathered from what you were saying that you were um, Judy's daughter. Well, I'm going to start with the big heavy stuff. First thing is bleach. Which you all know we use every single day here. The morning, the morning mop is always bleach, and Tuesday night's mop is always bleach. There you go, Whippin. And <laughs> now look who it is. It's 
The two orneriest boys. Oh my gosh. These two, they never stop. Um, Tide. Ooh, really nice Tide. And it's the HE. That's the one. It's the only one we can use for our washer um, because of the warranty. Although that washer is just about ready to get kicked out to the river, I said. Um, but the next one we have to get will also be HE. It really helps cut down on the amount of detergent. So thank you, Shell. That, that soap is great. Oh, and Dawn. There's two bottles of Dawn and one of hand wash. So that's cool. Always like Dawn. It's a good cleaner. And we use a lot of the, the hand soap, the antibacterial. And a toy. You guys want your toy? And I understand she'll put uh, catnip on the on the uh, carpet part of it. And puffs. We use a lot of these. We have a container over there that um, is just for Kleenexes. And we use a lot of those. And hairball control shampoo. And Adam's um, flea and tick shampoo. And the pyrethrins is 0.15. That's a that's a good shampoo. Thank you. Thank you, Shell. We will make good use of both of those. Octavia, what are you doing? Oh, and you thought of the doggies. Thank you. They like that. Janie really likes these. The meaty bones. And these are the small ones, so me so little Janie can eat those too. Aw, that's very nice. We'll make sure they know those are from Shell. Q tips, which we always use. We use a good little bundle today. Doing some years and Monday, yesterday, um, Mary E and I used a big bundle. And wow, look, there's another one of those good smelly things. Um, and this is all treats. Look at that. It's um, Whisker Lickens and Temptation. Crispies, which is from Friskies. This is that new Crave. Uh, I had not seen, and they're, they're the soft treats. I had not seen these out until just recently. The cats like them. That's what I gave as a treat last night before bed. And more temptations. Thank you. Thank you, Shell. I appreciate this very, very much. And thank you, Judy S., for transferring it to us. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So, you guys are cool. Thank you for bringing all that for us. And i got to write some of that down. Give me just a minute so I can... I, I always think, well, I'll just wait till morning and I'll remember. And then it's like, oh my gosh, my memory doesn't work very good. Dawn. Bleach. Sometimes you guys say, don't worry about the thank yous, but I have to. My my mom would um, be upset with me if I didn't remember my thank yous. <laughs> she taught me that. Okay, so I've got, I've got some things up here. Um, okay. I got some questions and I'm going to answer, no, we'll go over our updates first. Uh, this morning, Martha L., I want to thank her so very much. She's a volunteer here. She was here tonight. She helps us with so many things, the events, transporting. She just, she's wonderful. She's the one who drove Tukey and Jeepers up to Dr. Pettigrew's office and Bella um, for Tukey's and Jeepers um, surgery. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. And we did get Tukey's and Jeepers back. You know, that was the first time in almost seven years that we've had any surgeries done away from the rescue center. That was really, really kind of different for me. But I love Dr. Pettigrew's office, Dr. Darcy and Dr. Amanda that works there, and the whole staff. They're awesome. So it was, it was nice to see them again. Um, but, boy, it really rings home how nice it is just to walk out that back door and go to our clinic. But November 5th, it's a Saturday, we will be doing the remainder of, of all these. But I wanted to get Tukey done in Jeepers because Tukey uh, is spoken for. I think it's Franklin Cat that's on there, I think. 
and uh, Jeepers may be a home. But anyhow, those two are done. They're doing great. Jeep, uh, Tukey's right down here in front of me. Acts like nothing happened. Uh, we had visitors this morning, just some random people stopped, and uh, a couple of them made a cash donation, which was really nice, very helpful, especially because I'm going to do bills tomorrow, so or pay bills tomorrow. And uh, it's just nice to have visitors. We love to have visitors here. It's nice for the kitties, and it's nice for people to come in and just, just be good with the kitties. It's, it's a win-win um, thing on both sides. We have a visitor tomorrow, and that would be PJ Panda. Uh, one of the web cameras is coming tomorrow. I think she said between 9, 9.30-ish in there, and she's going to adopt Gramanique, so that's really great. And Judy S. stayed today, like I had said earlier, and we got her ears clean, but they're clean, and trimmed her nails, and tomorrow morning, if not tonight, I'll get her health ready, record ready, so we, we're all set for that. Our B... Like I said, it is, um, will be turned over tomorrow if we have any boxes. And then that way for a lot of you that are not on the same time zone, if it helps you to uh, arrange your day or whatever. I, it was a suggestion that was made yesterday or the day before, and it had been made before too for us. So I was thought that was a good idea. So we're doing it. Uh, the volunteers today that helped us was Judy Meyer, my sister, Judy S., Martha L., Dorothy was here, uh, Brenda and Katie, and uh, so I appreciate what they've done for us. Kurt today is starting to stain the brackets that go will go on the shelves. That's in Kitty City, and uh, he's also been busy updating our website. He's added, he's uh, updated the Sun Porch Kitties and updated the permanent residents, and he's also helping us with. Uh, pet finder so we're keeping we're keeping him busy we are still number one in the animal rescue site I think we actually gained a couple points today which is awesome I can't hardly wait in the mornings to go in there and vote and pull it up and see what our numbers are I copy them down every day and kitty cam is also uh, sending me a graph I think she'll do it again every week so I can visually see us and the place underneath us so that's always fun, and I so much appreciate your votes. You guys are the ones that are doing it for us. Your your votes are what's what's keeping us up there. So I appreciate that. Um, I saw something really funny today that made me laugh. Today when we opened up the window, or some this morning when the window was open to go out to the outdoor enclosure. You know, I keep telling you how. Octavia goes out there. There's two places where the cobwebs are, and she rolls them up with her tongue, you know, and she eats them. I've told you that. Well, Nova today was sitting beside her and watched her, and then I saw Nova go over in the corner where there was another cobweb, and she did it. It's like, what is it about the cobwebs that, that they like? I don't get it, but I thought that was kind of weird. Um, we have... Uh, Connie asked about Bella, and I know you all are very anxious about Bella, so uh, we'll update her right now. Um, I took her to Dr. Pettigrew's. She is not here right now. I never like any of my cats to spend the night away from anywhere but being here, but Dr. Pettigrew wanted her to stay there because maybe he can get to her tomorrow morning real early. Um, so hopefully tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon, I can get her back. Um, that was hard to take her and leave her. That was, or, well, Martha took her, but I went to see her. I, I got to do the pickup for Tukey and Jeepers. So anyhow, what was decided is, um, remember I've told you that, well, what, what is it, eight years ago when she was just a wee baby, she was hit by the car, which caused all the damage to her leg that she still has, caused the amputation on the right side and the partial paralysis of her tail. And we, ought, we did know that there had been a fra couple fractured vertebrae in the base of right by the tail, which is what causes some of the paralysis back there. So uh, at first, they, Dr. Pettigrew thought maybe it was the position of the little bit of femur that was left in there to help pad. Um, it is a very still real possibility that that was a cat bite wound there. We'll never know for sure, but we're speculating that that's what it is. But because of that car accident that she had, 
instead of having a nice kind of a pelvis that looks like this, it got squished so it's more like this. And so one part, one high part of it is directly in front of that spot, that abscessed. And that's why we have not been able to get that darn thing to heal is because every time she thump, thump, thumps, it was putting more pressure from the inside out on that area, that sharper area down onto that. So the abscess has was not able to heal because of the inside pressure of that oblong pelvis pushing and pushing on that. We've got away with no problems for eight years with her, but because of the now the external sore and then the internal pressure, it's just not letting it heal. So his idea on this, and this is kind of touch and go, this is something he's not had to do before, is ideally on the outside, like if this is Bella's leg, ideally what would have been nice, and this is where her boo-boo is, if he could have pulled this all up and stretched all this up here um, to uh, reconstruct it and pull that wound area up here. But in doing so, it's so close to where she potties at that it would um, pull on that too much. So he's not going to be able to do that. So what he wants to do is he's going to pull it down here underneath here and hopefully have enough space there to get it away from when she thump thump thumps um, that she's not landing on that area anymore. So it's, she's going to have a big shaved area here and most of the reconstruction will take place down in here. It'll be pulled down under under the stump and up into the abdomen, abdomen area. So it's going to be a big job and boy, thoughts and prayers and good wishes and everything is needed for that surgery tomorrow. Um, we, we need it to be successful. He's, <laughs> Dr. Pettigrew was funny because he's looking at her and he says, but you know that the other leg, even though she has some partial paralysis, you know, she kicks off with that and why can't she keep that underneath there? And I kept saying he, she never has. You know, she can use that other back leg, obviously. You guys have seen her. But um, she uses it as a push-off. And so he stands her up real nice and tall on there with just one leg. And he plants that leg underneath her. And Bella tentatively stands on it while he holds the pelvis. And, is, and I say, well, let go. And plop, over she goes again on her favorite side with that leg straight up. That's just, just how Bella is. So it's a challenge, but he, of any vet I know, him and Dr. Darcy, they're they're good, and I think actually uh, they're going to help each other with this surgery tomorrow. So as soon as I know that there's a surgery, um, I will let you all know on the cam, and as soon as I know that she's done, I'll be heading up there to get her. So um, I think that's all the updates that I had. There was just a couple questions. Jack Cat asked about uh, the feral colony that we have out back. The big red barn that's out there does have a feral family. They've been out there for, golly, I'm not sure, three, four years. The, this, And I normally don't take ferals because I, oh, obviously I can't adopt them out. But this, this uh, couple had called me and it really got to me and so I had to help them. Um, this, these kitties, the babies, the litter was babies at that time, tiny little babies. And the mama was scouting the neighborhood and apparently where they live at this couple that saved them rescued them have a fence a short it was a short fence to hide the um, trash containers and she would put the babies on this side of the fence and then she would go around to the gate and go out and she would canvas the neighborhood for garbage to eat and they had seen her taking cobs of corn you know ear corn that people was eating and dragging them down and if her babies would come out of the fence area, they would. They had seen her, they witnessed this several times, where she would drop the food and she would go back and tell the kitties get back behind the fence. And so they would, and they did. And they waited for her so that she'd go back out and get the food and then she would bring it back. But she kept them very private. So the what really broke their heart was one day she was going backwards, dragging a chicken carcass, you know, that was somebody's probably roasted chicken and she took it behind the fence so 
Oh, that really got to me. So they, they captured the babies, they caught mommy, and she's the calico mama that's out there, the calico feral that's out there. And she actually wasn't a true feral because she did let us tentatively pet her, but the kitties were old enough that there was no way. Uh, but they're out there. There's only six of them out there in the in that barn, and they're doing fine. They're they're wonderful. They're neutered. They're uh, they were vaccinated. I do get wormer in them every once in a while, and every once in a while, if those that feral group gets into a trap, I go out and I get the um, flea prevention dripped on their necks. So we do as much as what they allow us to do. Uh, Mimi asked me about Steve. Uh, tomorrow's a big day for him. Uh, he's got his uh, uh, MRI tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully tomorrow late afternoon or Thursday morning we'll find out what that mass is in his leg and what that means for his surgery to replace his knee. And we saw, what movie we saw was The Eyes of March and the popcorn was way better than the movies. Um, Tukey, oh, uh, Whisk uh, Scotty asked when Tukey leaves. I'm not sure. I have to let um, Franklin Cat, I think that's who's going to be adopting her, know that she'll be ready in another day or two. They're from Dayton, so it's going to take them uh, planning of when they can come down to get her. And Humming, Hummer Fan asked about Jeepers Falling. Yes, I understand. I think it was one of these. He was fine when I left him go from his surgery. He was tooling around and he ate. Whenever anybody comes back in from any clinic, they go into a pen. They do not get out until they've eaten and they're standing up and acting pretty much like themselves. But apparently he got a little wobbly again after his, his uh, uh, nap. Uh, it's only because he was still a little bit sleepy from there. He didn't hurt himself and he's doing fine. So I think that's all that I have. Um, and, and I will keep you posted, all of you posted tomorrow about uh, our Bella girl. Oh, you know what? i got to tell you this real quick. When I was there um, at the clinic, I went back into the, their area where they keep their surgeries. And it just about broke my heart. As soon as, it made me feel really, really good. As soon as Tukey and Jeeper saw me, they were going like this at the cage store and meowing and meowing. And two of the ladies that worked there came back and said, they were quiet till you came in. And it's like, oh, they recognized me. It made me feel good. Um, but Bella didn't have any food in there because they were not sure if they were going to do her surgery today or not. But it was decided that today was not the day. And I said, well, she's really hungry. She needs to eat, and she loves baby food. So Chris got me a jar of baby food, and I said, watch this, Chris. And I snapped it, and Bella was at the back of her cage, and she immediately came forward and her ears were up and her whiskers was forward and her eyes were big and it's like oh my gosh she loves this and so I put it on a plate and she ate every single speck of it so Bella got a whole uh, jar of baby food this afternoon and Chris said she would give her another one before she left but I, I held her for probably a half hour while I was talking to Dr. Pettigrew and looking at her x-ray and she was doing fine he did to leave her but she, she will be fine there so Thank you for everything. Thanks for your votes. Thank you for the gifts tonight, your donations. Thanks for watching us, and we will see you all later. We'll set up the playground. I guess pretty we could do that now. Okay. Thank you, everybody.